Hey, you kids. So, you may be thinking, well, this doesn't really look that familiar. And to that I say, uh, no it isn't. So you see, I'm running Ubuntu on this laptop now. Originally I was switching between Ubuntu, Ubuntu, and Ubuntu Cinnamon, but um, I realized that wasn't really healthy. I, like I was on Kubuntu and I realized Kubuntu, I don't really like using Kubuntu, so I just switched to Ubuntu, right, regular Gnome Ubuntu, which is probably my favorite out of the bunch. So what's going on with this? Well, Today we are doing another macOS episode. This is episode 26. Now I know I held the poll and I said whichever one won the most votes would be chosen for the next episode, which was episode 25 at the time. But I was gonna do all of the ones on the list, but we're just gonna go in order from most popular to least popular. So the, sec the one that got the second most votes is Mac OS 10.2, Jaguar, so we're gonna do that one. So, we're gonna be running Kimu. Yeah, um, I'm still pretty kinda new to Kimu, but I know how to operate it. So let's see if I can, let's see if I can remember how to make a virtual machine. It's been a little bit since I used it. It's like really, this is like a really awkward angle. Also, it's kind of dark, so I can't really see the keys. Kimu IMG, this should give us a little bit of help. Now I guess we're gonna have to type Kimu IMG dash dash help. Okay, I got an example from a website. So let's see, Kimu IMG create QCow2, which is what we want. And call it just call it jag for jaguar 20 gigabytes and we can do that we can just do two gigabytes pretty sure or you know what let's go with eight gigabytes okay so it is created it in our uh, home folder or my home folder I'm gonna need some instructions on how to make a mac os virtual machine Okay, I think I nailed down a good, you know, kind of thing. So it's Kimu System PPC Boot D, which I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that's to boot from the CD, if I'm not mistaken. Dash M Mac 99, uh, that's for the machine. Dash lowercase m, 512, that's, that's 512 megabytes of memory. HDA slash home slash TWF slash jag dot QCow2, that's the hard drive image that we just created, and CD-ROM slash home slash TWF slash desktop slash D1.ISO. D1 stands for disk one. So let's see if this works. Okay, zoom in, and let's try and best fit. Zoom in, zoom in more. Okay. Uh, allow. So we are now booted into the installer, and we're going to go to Open Disk Utility. This is what we want. So, uh, yep, here it is. Eight gigabyte Kimu partition. One partition. We we'll call it Jaguar. There we go. 8.20 gigabytes. That'll do. And partition. Partition. Okay, um. I think we're just gonna quit this. Uh, oh. Come on, there we go. Again, the mouse is really. Is kind of offset. Uh, okay, let's just let's just get out of here and just restart it. Okay, uh, sure. Let's do that. Important information. We'll agree to that and that. And now we need to get a partition. 
Going to scoot Tildy. Try it again. Name it Jag. Okay, well, I'll do. <laughs> Erase. Okay. And now I have a partition called, just called Jag. Oh, yep, there we go. Alright, let's continue. And let's install. Software was successfully installed. Oh yeah. Oh, I didn't mean to build up. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Okay, so we gotta. So I'm pretty sure boot C is to boot off the the CD drive. to insert this two. How will we do that? Well, an idea. Here's the monitor, so I'm pretty sure we just have info block to show everything here. So let me type change IDE one dash C D zero. Slash home slash TWF slash desktop slash D two dot ISO. Okay. Control one, go back here. And now it's gonna install this some other stuff. Software was successfully installed, okay. Done. Didn't get the intro video, but we got this. We got the setup screen. So, United States. Sure, I live in Canada, but we'll do that. Personalize your settings. Oh yeah, US, sure. Registration, registration information. Just go back, just goes back, yeah. You have to register. Just kind of stupid, but okay. Uh, one, two, three. State, you know, sure, sure, I live in California. Zip code. Email address. Nah, area code, 666, phone number, 420-6996, company school, to of co, continue. Uh, you want to continue? Yeah, sure, why not? A few more questions. Um, I will use this at home. Murder isn't listed on here, so I guess I'll do video, film, music, photography. Uh, no. Thank you. Continue. Create your account. Short name. Just TWF. Name. Again, just TWF. Password. And we'll do all that. And as for the picture.
zap. Okay. So we're going to create the account. Get the internet ready. I'm not ready to connect to the internet. Connecting to the internet on here is way too uh, complex. Looks like time zone. We'll do Cupertino. That isn't really my time zone, but we'll do it anyway. October 14th. Continue. Don't forget to register. I thought I already did, but okay. Got the wallpaper, the dock, the finder window, and the mini bar. So let's just close these two windows. And there we go. We are in. So, everyone, thank you for watching this uh, new episode of VM Installation. And I'll see you next time. Bye.